Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to make a histogram. A histogram is kind of like a bar chart. It looks like a bar chart, but its function is very different. Whereas a bar chart or column chart would be used to compare values across cases or categories. A histogram is used to basically view the distribution of a variable. Um, it counts the number of observations in bins and then that shows us whether the distribution is normal or skewed or what have you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and I'll just show you what I mean here. Um, we will call this section histograms and we'll add a code chunk and we'll label it. So here we're going to use the data from the Dem Women CSV file, but we're going to filter it for just one year, 2015. So uh, we're going to take Dem Women, um, read it in using um, read R, and we're going to filter it and store it in this object uh, called Dem Women, Dem underscore women underscore 2015. So uh, here we're going to use read CSV from uh, the read our package and our data are in our data file, our data subdirectory, and they are in a file called dem underscore women dot CSV. Okay, and then we're going to use a pipe operator because here again we want to filter just for one year, year equals equals 2015. Okay, next we're gonna make our histogram. Um, so uh, we will call ggplot, and then our data here that we're gonna use are dem underscore women underscore 2015. Remember the first argument is the data, and then the second argument is the mapping uh, wrapped in this AES um, quoting function. Uh, so AES, and we only have one dimension here that we need to specify for a histogram, and that's the x-axis, okay? Because the y is just going to be a count of um, observations falling in different bins, okay? And so that's the first line, and then from there, uh, we need to add our geom, and in this case, it's going to be geom histogram. Uh, and then we can say fill equals steel blue again and have a look at our histogram. Okay, and there it is. And so we can see that this is not a normal distribution. If this was normally distributed, we would see a nice bell-shaped curve here. Uh, instead, we see something more like a bimodal distribution. But we have a big spike at the end here of countries with really high polyarchy scores. Um, so that's kind of interesting. So we can conclude from this that polyarchy is not, um, is not normally distributed or democracy is not normally distributed. Um, so from here, let's go ahead and add some labels uh, just to pretty it up a little bit. And we can add an x-axis, a new x-axis label polyarchy, let's call it polyarchy score 2015. Y, let's call that count because that's what it is. Uh, we can add a title, distribution of democracy 2015. And we can add a caption equals source v down institute. Okay, right, let's run that. Looks like I missed a um, comma there. Nope, didn't like something again. What's wrong this time? Oh, I missed another comma. Okay, there we have um, our histogram. Okay, so uh, there's a couple of other parameters we can add here. So if we want to alter the number of bins, the default is 30. So let's say we want um, to have thicker bins instead. So we could change the number of bins to uh, 20, for example, and see what that looks like. And there we get a thicker 
uh, bin and a less fine grain picture of what's going on. And let's say we wanted a more fine grain picture, we can change the number of bins to 40. Uh, and that gives us a more fine grain picture. Or we could also change the bin width, which has the same function, essentially. We can say, for example, the bin width should be 0 0.10, which should give us slightly fewer bins, or maybe many fewer bins. Let's see what happens. Yes, uh, so much thicker bins. Uh, and as you can see, the count in each bin is much higher as a result. Or we could try point, um, make the bins uh, smaller. So let's say 0 0.05 instead and double the number of bins there, etc. cetera. Um, and then we can also, of course, uh, let's go back to our default bin width. Um, we can also just um, do a histogram for different variables in the, in the data set just by changing our X variable here. So let's say we wanted to look at GDP per capita instead of polyarchy. We could do that. Uh, but of course, so that looks a little bit more like left skewed. Um, but of course, we'd want to change our title there. Good now. OK, there we go. Um, so that we can see is a little bit more left skewed. Um, and let's go ahead and try one more variable here. Let's see what's in the data set here. Glimpse Dem Women 2015. Uh, GDP per capita. And let's just look at uh, women's representation. See how that's distributed. Call this x-axis percent legislators for women, and we will call this distribution of women's representation. And the source here is actually the World Bank. There we go. And this looks maybe slightly more normally distributed, but still has a little bit of a left skew to it. But in any case, that's how we make a histogram. And in the next lesson, we're going to learn how to make line charts. See you there.